Is this a fake video? Because this level of incompetence is next level embarrassing. Interest I'd, I'd like you, our city with all due respect, Mayor, I'd like you to answer this question. Mayor, Mayor, what is the question, hello. Laura? I, my question I'm is listening, this. Laura. You are, you are suffering in Baltimore, as many other uh, metropolitan areas are as well. It's not unique to Baltimore, but nevertheless, you're suffering from declining enrollment. You're suffering from a huge budget deficit. While your office is adding We're 20, not suffering from a 20 huge staffers, budget deficit. $130 million budget deficit for education in this fiscal year. Yeah, well, that's not our entire city budget. So I thought no, you were no, talking no, about the schools. city. We're talking about your, your you're funding the mayor. It's yours. buses you're in not part to, to go CEO down to Washington. System. And yet that you have a budget true, deficit and you you're laying your off students. Straight, love. I don't know whether you're trying to become the communications director for uh, the Trump administration. I don't know why you're getting personal, Mayor. I don't know why you're getting we're personal. We're not funding. We are providing assistance to young people to make sure that they get to Washington, D.C. safely. But That's why is that your job? Why is that your job as the mayor of Baltimore to assist student activists? Because are you doing that for the March That's for Life exactly next January? Reason. That's exactly the reason why I'm doing it, because I am the mayor of my city, because I care about my children. I want their voices okay. to be heard. And we're going to make sure that their voices are heard in Washington, D.C. Have you done March that for the, the March for Life, very Mayor? very excited. Have you done that no, for the pro-life march for, every no, January? Actually, the pro-lifers didn't reach out to me. The young so people you would fund of them our next city January? and our country. Uh, the city, the children of our city, of our country, reached out to me. They came okay. down. And we offer to assist them so that they can get to Washington, D.C. Okay, so you're not spending so any money? Be heard. So the, all the because reports on the $100,000 is false? Because we have too many assault weapons in this country. We have too many children okay, being killed. So you're just not we have too question. many people being killed in the streets of our city. Okay. So we're excited for them right. and certainly are you, uh, grateful are, are to you, you for Mayor, allowing are you us concerned about the fact that 13 of the 19 Baltimore high schools have zero students today? Who are meeting grade level proficiency in math? I am concerned about math. every single individual who lives in my city. I'm concerned about our schools. Sure you I'm are. concerned about the fear that exists among young people in this country. In right, my isn't that city, a bigger problem, though? For their isn't lives. that a bigger problem than training student activists? There is no bigger problem than having people killed by assault weapons in this country. There's no bigger problem than parents who see the uh, see young people being killed. There's no bigger problem than people's lives being lost okay, because so we have as, weapons as of destruction. Mayor, on the streets let, of our let me city, just understand this. Our state and in our country. As the mayor we want to make of Baltimore, sure, and we want to yeah, make I, sure that that doesn't happen. We want to make sure luck. that this country understands I got it. that violence is not the way. I got it. Assault weapons should not be given to people, and background right, checks need to be done. Okay. And so, and, so and mayor, assault weapons are not just handed out to people. Background checks are already done. Most of these shootings that happen, they happen by by criminals, by bad people, by people that you know they may have even have passed the background check. But what's to stop them from tomorrow? Somebody breaking their heart, a loved one dying, them just falling off the rocker and going bat. You know what? crazy nothing's to stop that you can't predict that there's already precautions in place but these crimes are done by evil people by bad people by non-law abiding citizens you can't take their weapons because they're not just going to hand them over to you you don't know how they got them if they got them when they get them none of that stuff you're you're trying to push this stuff onto the regular everyday citizen that just wants to protect his family her family and protect their kids and the things that they love these weapons of destruction <laughs> you taking those weapons out of innocent people's hands, they're not going to be able to protect their families. But, you know, they don't care about that. They just care about this agenda. They care about being woke and, and being, you know, in the, the popular side of things. But in reality, they're causing a whole lot more harm than good. Just so for our audience, before you I, I, I know you're doing a soliloquy, that. but Mayor, <laughs> just so our audience understands, in the future, since you think this is important for students' voices to be heard, if conservative students or pro-life students, can I just finish a question, heard. please? If, if pro-life yes, students go to you and ask you to provide transportation or support for attending conservative marches because they want their voices heard, will you as mayor of Baltimore support those efforts as well in the education process or just for the student let's activism be, process? Let's be real clear. If the private sector wants to provide buses for individuals to go protest anything in, their, in this country, they are willing to support that. Just like the NRA supports all of their okay, issues, so, so I you're support not spending the right any money? of young people to have their voices heard in okay. this country. Okay, so Mayor, are you saying tonight no money is being spent? To be able to go, 
I'm no saying that there will be spent. money spent to make sure that our young people get to Washington, D.C. Okay, safely. so that's my question. Absolutely. Government they, money. The buses are When you guys free. are bleeding, yeah, teacher, teachers are being fired. Personnel are being Come laid off. Law. You're hi You just hired 20 new people, including a new marketing director in your office, which is great. I'm sure they're going to do a great job. We're getting teachers laid off, personnel laid off, we, and you're, we, you're we shoveling students to down to a rally. That just we does not we, seem to make sense. We hired sense. 22 people to take care of the homeless on our streets. We, tired, and a we marketing hired people director, to take correct? care of our neighborhoods and our communities. No, we did not. A public oh, affairs Okay, that director. story's wrong, too. There's a lot of and reporting, I think that's apparently, an, that's, that's not true. You're not spending well, money to you, send I kids down. I think you would know about that. You're not that getting a marketing. all the time on, on television stations, well, on radio Mayor, stations, Mayor, and here Mayor, on Fox I think TV. it's so cool. I came here so that I could share with you you right. what's happening in Baltimore. We're very Baltimore, excited. Baltimore about has our been young under liberal leadership for how many in years? Washington, D.C. And we hope that you'll be there so that you can welcome them there and you can hear their voices yeah. because Mayor, we believe Mayor, that the Mayor, voices the problems, of young people just, in this Mayor, country the problems ought to in be Baltimore heard. have been going on the for years in and years and years this nation, under liberal leadership. It's not Donald Trump's fault. It's not Donald well, Trump's I, fault that Baltimore has you, this high you murder rate. Not Baltimore's fault. I think you brought that not, issue not up. Trump's I didn't bring fault. up the issue of Donald Trump. I'm talking about Baltimore City and yeah, the need you don't for want to talk our about children whose voices want to be heard. Right, the, we don't, the, the we want the kids would like checks. to learn. Would we they want not? To make sure, we want to make sure that illegal guns are on the streets of our city. We want to make sure that assault weapons are on the streets of our city. We want to make sure that no more murders are happening in any of our streets. We'll see how this works out in We want to make sure that no more murders are happening in any of our streets. But we're going to send them down to protest. Over 300, 300 yeah. shootings in our schools, right? Laura. Right, and that's and, and that is the fault of by, the Maryland rifles, government. It's not the fault weapons, of the national government. All these kinds of yeah, things liberal that policies should Keep not have in their hands. And yeah. you may want to call it liberal, but we took we well, talk well, who's about been running safety, the city? protection. <laughs> have conservatives been running people. the city? Take we want to make sure that our country is okay. safer. We want background checks. Oh yeah, well, we want to make sure that want to be safer, don't spend a lot of time late at night on the streets of Baltimore. You should be 21 years of age, and we All want right. to make sure, Laura, okay, Mayor, we that appreciate our country it. is safe. And we look forward to seeing you on oh, March I'll look forward to seeing you at the March. I'll, let, let me say, I'll go Absolutely. to that March if you come to the March for to Life. That's a good, be, that's a good deal. Yeah, right. All right, we're out of time, Mayor. It's just not going to stop talking. Oh, my goodness. What's wrong with you people? Y'all, that truly would have been unbelievable if I hadn't just witnessed it myself. The woman couldn't even let Laura guide the interview and ask any sort of questions. Like, why even sign up for the, the segment? She was driving me nuts how every time Laura tried to make a point, she got cut off. The woman said, nope, not today. I'm going to keep on running my mouth. And I can't say I'm surprised because this is a classic strategy when you've been busted for lying. When somebody's called your bluff and called you out for the things that you're hiding behind closed doors and, and it gets brought to light. And is this, this is just typical immature behavior from these woke sort of leftists. They show up to do these interviews without any intention of ever actually answering a substantial question, without ever actually providing any actual facts and logical ways of thinking. Instead, their sole purpose for even agreeing to do these sort of segments is to spout off at the mouth and to push their political agenda and their talking points. That's it. It's always hilarious that these people roll into these shows not expecting to get called out. Laura Ingram called her on her BS, and this lady was trying to paint Baltimore as some beautifully decorated crap, but just because you decorate it and want it to be something that it's not crap is still crap at the end of the day so big respect to laura ingram for calling it out for not catering along to this fake facade and us as viewers got to witness the hypocrisy and the downfall and that's why i love using videos like this on the platform that i've been blessed with because i know a lot of people in the political field and the news media they always got an agenda to push on all sides i'm not naive to that fact but this right here this just goes to show you when you can't stop talking if you would just be quiet and humble yourself people might actually believe what you're saying even though you're lying behind closed doors you got evil intentions, but this woman just kept on babbling, kept the rant party going, and tried to drown out the facts that Laura Ingram was dishing out on a platter. And it just didn't work out. It didn't it didn't work out at all. It ended up looking like some kind of, of liberal robot that encountered some sort of weird wire malfunction. And that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And I'm here for it. And since this clip was a few years old, I was curious. I wanted y'all to be informed as well as myself. So I did some digging, and it's clear as day now why this woman, Catherine Pugh, is the former mayor of Baltimore doesn't hold that position any longer. And get this, she pleaded guilty to a count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud, a count of conspiracy to defraud the United States 
and two counts of tax evasion. She was sentenced to three years in federal prison, followed by three years of supervised release. And this was a few years back, so she's out now, but just how she carried herself in this interview from the time she was like, let's be very clear. You know, when a politician says that, they about to lie. And just how she overall approached this segment with no, no lack of respect for the interviewer and no lack of respect for us as the viewers because she couldn't dish out any sort of facts and answer any questions, you could have easily figured out that this lady is a crooked one. And some of y'all may not agree with this, but I honestly pray that after serving some time, she since found the Lord, repented, and started to pursue and walk that righteous path of salvation with Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I doubt it, but God works in mysterious ways. And just a few years ago, he saved a scumbag of a man like me. I was walking on the left. I was acting a fool. Y'all have heard my testimony time and time again. If you haven't, go, go back and watch uh, previous videos. Now I'm able to share the gospel with over 600,000 plus people. That's pretty darn cool if you ask me. But that's all I got for today. If you enjoyed this Laura Ingram clip, you enjoyed it hearing my perspective on it. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video. If you want to take it a step further, you like what we're doing over here, you can always support by buying awesome shirts like this made by my lovely wife over in her Etsy store. She's got a bunch of different designs, all different colors, sizes, Christian, American apparel, all of that. Check that out down below as well as she now offers tumblers. This one right here says Be the Light from Matthew 514 and she'll have a bunch more of those available as well. All my my links are always down below in the description section. Hopefully we got some good laughs and whatever y'all got from this. I'm just glad y'all watched it with me. But until next time, I love y'all. I'm praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.